Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to cover the SELECT statement. So the SELECT statement, very similar to an IF statement. If all you're doing is, so you make sure you've gone through the IF statement video. If you have, good. If not, feel free to take a look at that and come back in your own time. Okay, all back, cool. So this IF statement, very simple. The condition was very similar in each branch in that it was checking if a particular variable equaled a particular value. And you can actually do something called a switch statement, which allows you to sort of simplify this. So what I'll do for now is I'll comment this out so you can actually see the difference between the two. And I'll, I'll actually also just reduce this a bit so we've got a bit more room to work with. And it's really simple to do. You just do select, then the variable that you're checking. So input in our case, and make sure it's ended with an end select. Visual Studio adds it automatically, but if you're using another text editor or ID, just make sure you've got that. Now the case is what you want to check if the variable equals, and there should actually be no case there. Sorry, just be select input, and the case should be here. Why do they keep putting the case there? I will deal with that in a second, and maybe just because I haven't completed it yet. Okay, so the case would be one in this case, so one, and then let's click enter, put the code, so we'll put this code right here. And then you put the next case, so let's say case two. Copy that. And I need to rename this case two. Okay, case three and four. Okay, and the last thing is you know handling sort of a default case. If none of the conditions are met, it's not compulsory, but to add it, you just put case and you just put else. So else, you know, none of them are valid. You put console, or right line. Ah, I think we'll just copy and paste this. Do we want to simulate, ooh, zoomed out, didn't want to do that. We just want to simulate the exact same thing. So if we run this now, see what we get. So you run, click one, it says many option one is selected. I run it and I put in four. Many option four is selected. If I run it, put in five. Not valid because it goes to the default one. So this is just sort of a, in a way, a simpler way of writing it. Because instead of having to do else if input, let's say equals five, you would just do something like case five, and that's it. You that's the condition check. So it's very very simple. Obviously, switch statements you probably can see it has a restriction in that the you always have to be comparing against this individual variable. But you know if that's the if that's the scenario, then this is great. Let me show you something else. If, for example, you want to say you know run a certain piece of code for multiple conditions, so let's say it equally I don't know four and five, you could do something like that. You just put a comma. Say if I in four, you get menu option four is selected. For running again, menu option four is selected because obviously we are just printing the same thing out. So that's the select statement. No, there's nothing more to it than that. And what you can do, you can actually nest the select statements. So within a case, you could have another select statement if you want to. As an extra task, I recommend doing that. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and I will help you out. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.